If the sequences an and bn are non-zero, and the limit as n goes to infinity of an over bn exists and is non-zero, then the two series from 1 to infinity of an and 1 to infinity of bn behave the same. That is, they either both converge or both diverge. We can use this property to our advantage by dividing a series whose convergence we wish to determine by series whose convergence we already know. So the approach we will use is as follows. Given the series from 1 to infinity of an, we find the comparison series from 1 to infinity of bn by keeping the highest powers of n above and below the line of the general term of an. Then we conduct the limit comparison test, that is the limit as n goes to infinity of a n divided by b n. Then we conclude our result. From the p-series we know how the series from 1 to infinity of b n behaves. So then we can state how the series from 1 to infinity of a n behaves. That is, if the series of b n converges, then that means that the series of a n converges once the limit comparison test gives a positive and finite answer. So let's determine whether the series from 1 to infinity of 1 over 5 n squared minus 6 converges or diverges. So let's use 1 over 5 n squared minus 6 as our a n term. And for b n, we want to consider the highest powers of n above and below the line. So we can see above the line, the highest power of n is n to the 0, so simply a constant, which we can use 1. And below the line, the highest power of n is n squared. So our comparison series will be bn. And from a p-series, here is p equals 2, which is greater than 1. We know that the series from 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared converges. So now let's conduct the limit comparison test. So the limit comparison test says we take the limit as n goes to infinity of a n divided by b n. So we have the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over 5 n squared minus 6 divided by 1 over n squared. Now division is simply the opposite of multiplication. So we can write this more tidily as the limit as n goes to infinity. 1 over 5 n squared minus 6 multiplied by n squared over 1 or simply the limit as n goes to infinity of n squared divided by 5 n squared minus 6. Now if we calculate this limit by either considering the leading terms or dividing each term by the highest power of n we will come out with an answer of simply 1 over 5. So the limit comparison test has given a finite answer of 1 over 5. So that means that the series from n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over 5 n squared minus 6 behaves the same as the series from 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared. And we know that the series from 1 to infinity of 1 over n squared converges so that means that our series from 1 to infinity of 1 over 5n squared minus 6 is convergent.